Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making this awesome spiral baby blanket. It's super easy to do, just double crochet. And what is wonderful about it, you know those thumbnails you see and the blanket's all kind of messed up or spun or like something fancy? Uh, I, yeah, uh, this blanket is actually square. You could lay it out square. The corners are the same as the sides. It doesn't go wonking out at the corners like some, some blankets do. So I'll be showing you how to make an absolutely perfectly square baby blanket. This is actually one row longer on one side. So it's not a perfect square, but it's definitely close to a perfect square and an awesome rectangle. So you don't have to block this blanket when you are finished. As soon as you are done hooking on it, you can literally give it away or display it in your home. There's no joining or stepping up if that is something that you are challenged with or is difficult. So that is what makes it a super easy and great pattern. Plus, whatever yarn you have that is changing color, you can get twice as much blanket by putting in a regular acrylic row or a baby yarn, just a solid color, and it'll really help your fancy yarn go farther. So what you'll need for the easy spiral Picasso crochet baby blanket is Picasso yarn or any color changing yarn that you have. This is a yarn from Ice Yarns. I will put a link to this exact colorway in the description box below. It is 44% acrylic and 50% polyester, but you can use any color changing yarn you have, red heart stripes, literally anything, as long as you are happy with how it changes color and you like the colorway. The other yarn I'm going to be using for this tutorial is Softly Baby. It is a really great, lovely acrylic yarn. It is 50% acrylic and 50% polyamide. So it's really nice and soft and it goes great with the Picasso. You can also just use a solid color yarn that matches the yarn you're using that changes color. So you're welcome to use these exact yarns or whatever yarn you want to use that you can get locally. You will also need a pair of scissors eventually and a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a bobby pin or a paper clip. You'll also need a hook. You can use whatever hook goes with your yarn, whatever suggested for the yarn you're using. I will be using a five millimeter crochet hook for the Picasso and Softly Baby. If you don't have Softly Baby, you can also use Favorite from Ice Yarns. I'll put a link to that down below as well. They're pretty much the same, although Softly Baby is softer. If you are using the same yarn that I am, for a baby blanket, you will need four balls of Picasso and two skeins of Softly Baby or Favorite, whichever one you're using. So basically one pack of Picasso and Softly Baby or Favorite will make you two baby blankets or one larger blanket. So if you're doing the shopping, you need one pack of each and that'll be two baby blankets or one larger blanket. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with our color changing yarn and make a slip knot any which way that you make a slip knot. You don't need to leave too much of a tail. We're gonna work over that and just cut it off. Shrink it down and put it onto your hook. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. So to count your stitches, you don't count the knot and you don't count what's on your hook. You just count these V's in between. So there's one, two, and three. We're just gonna put our hook straight into this very first stitch right on top of the knot. Just right in there. And slip stitch to form a ring. So to do that, I'm gonna lay my tail down along my work and get it all working so it looks like a U shape. Like that. And I'm holding it open with my finger and thumb. And I'm gonna grab my yarn and bring it through both loops to make a slip stitch. I'm still holding open that ring. I wanna make sure I'm in the right spot. And chain three. One, two, three. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet right into the center of that ring. One double crochet. I'm still holding my tail along my ring. If you can't hold your tail along your ring, you'll just have to sew it in later. But I find it easier just to work into it right now or work over it. So wrap your yarn and one more double crochet straight into the center of that ring, taking care to go over your tail. Our chain counts is our first double crochet, so that is three double crochets. Now we're gonna be doing our corner. So chain two, one, 
and two. Keep that tail behaving, just holding it along that ring. And three more double crochets into the center of that ring. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. So that's two sides of our square for our center already. We need to do three more double crochets into the center of the ring. One, two, and three. Now we need to do one more side. So we're just gonna pinch your ring and slide your stitches back. That'll give you more space to work right onto your ring. You don't wanna have your stitches overlapping. So for our corner, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochets into that center of the ring. One, two, and three. So this is the same as you would start a granny square, just a regular granny square. And now we are going to start the spiral bit. So now we're going to make a stitch into the second chain going up. So we're gonna skip this first chain here, that little guy, we're gonna just ignore it. We're gonna go straight into the second chain. We want two strands of that stitch on our hook. And we're gonna make a double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into the second chain one double crochet. And now into the third chain, it's right here. So not on top of our double crochet, not this guy, but the one right in between. We wanna go into that stitch, and again, we want two strands of that stitch on our hook, and we're gonna make a double crochet. So push your hook into the third chain, two strands of that chain on your hook, and make one double crochet. So that is the beginning of our spiral. Now just pull a little loop up, take your hook out, and pop in your stitch marker. Once you get going, you could just make a big loop. You don't really have to put in a stitch marker, but for now, and as you get going, it's just kind of peace of mind that your loop won't come out. We can cut off this tail. We worked over it. So that won't distract us as we build our spiral. Now we're gonna join our white yarn straight into the very same spot that we did our last double crochet. So that chain three, the top of the chain three, we're gonna put our hook straight back into the same spot. So right where our double crochet came out of, putting our hook straight back in, loop of white yarn on your hook, leaving enough of a tail to sew in later bring it back, and slip stitch with both strands to join. I join that way so it kind of looks the same as a regular stitch. So you can work over your tail, just hold it along the edge of your work, and chain two, one and two. Our, the slip stitch we did to join counts as our first chain, so this counts as a chain three, and the chain three counts as our first double crochet. So now we're gonna wrap our yarn and go in to the next stitch. The next stitch looks a bit different. If you kind of give it a little stretch out, you can see there's one loop kind of loose by itself and another one behind. So we're gonna pick up both of those strands to turn that into a, a proper stitch or make one double crochet into this spot and then another one into the next stitch. So the one right after our join is the only one that looks weird. So wrap your yarn and go into that loop at the front and pick up that loop at the back. And go over your tail. It's a lot to do, isn't it? So one double crochet into the next stitch. And again, one double crochet into the next stitch. So there's our three double crochets on top of the three double crochets down below. And now into our corner, wrap your yarn and go straight into that corner space. I'm still working over my tail. Two double crochets. Chain two. And two double crochets. So this is the same as doing a solid granny square. If you're familiar with that. There is our corner. And now into the next three stitches, or every stitch down below, we need to put a stitch on top. So I'm gonna drop my tail now. 
I can work over it later or sew it back in the opposite direction. So pull your stitches back from that corner because you want to have a good look. You want to be able to see this stitch right here. Often our stitches can cover it up and then it looks like our first stitch is the second stitch, but we have to make sure we get into that very first stitch. So pull those stitches back, wrap your yarn and one double crochet into that very first stitch. And one double crochet into each stitch along this side. Every stitch gets a stitch. And our corners get two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into that corner space, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. All into that corner space. Just like that. Again, you can see that very first stitch. You can see it if you look for it. You don't have to pull your stitches back. But if you're new or you're not sure what your stitches look like, give your stitches a pull back and you'll see this stitch, the very first one, is sitting right there. It gets a little bit covered up by those corner stitches. So make sure you find it and you want to go into that very first stitch and every stitch along the side. like that. Now we're back at our corner, so two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. You can just pause the video and get caught up. And now we're on our last round, our last side. So wrap your yarn and into that very first stitch, one double crochet, and every stitch along gets a double crochet. So one double crochet into every stitch, and I stop about one or two stitches before my Picasso ended or my color changing yarn. So let's go into that. I'm not going to go into the very last stitch. I'm just going to pull up a loop and switch my stitch marker. Your color changing yarn back on your hook. And now we are going to build our color changing row all the way around our spiral. So our very first double crochet is going to go into our slip stitch. So right into the center of that V where we joined our yarn. I'm just going to push my hook straight into the center of that V and make a double crochet. So wrap your yarn and straight into that slip stitch, one double crochet. And into the next stitch, it's kind of just a big mess right here, but if you look, if you count your stitches going the other way, you can follow it up your posts. So there's a double crochet, a double crochet, and here's our first chain, or our third chain actually. So I'm not going into the third chain, I want to go before it. So just into this kind of hot mess. You want to make one double crochet. Just like that. And now you can see we have one chain left right there. Now we're going to do our corner. So chain two, one and two. So now into the top of the chain three or our third chain, we're going to do a double crochet. So wrap your yarn straight into that chain, one double crochet. So this is our new corner for our color changing round. And now every stitch along this side is going to get a double crochet. Remember the stitch right after our chain looks a bit funny. It has a loose strand at the front kind of just hanging out by itself and you have to go to the back to pick up that straggler. So this one is not really a V. We're going to make that into a V. So wrap your yarn underneath that strand at the front, picking up the strand at the back, one double crochet. And now one double crochet into each of these stitches all the way until we reach our corner. When you reach your corner, we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So one, two, chain two, and two double crochets. So now take care to go into this very first stitch. It can be hiding underneath your corner. If you can't see it, remember to just push your stitches back so you can get at this very first stitch. And you're going to keep an eye for this after every corner that you make for this entire blanket. You always want to go into this very first stitch. 
So wrap your yarn and into the first stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch going all the way along this side. When you reach your corner, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. And again, make sure you get into that very first stitch, one double crochet into each stitch, corners, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and one double crochet into each stitch along the last side, and I'll meet you when you get to just before your stitch marker. So this is what it looks like so far, coming along nicely, and you can see why I love this Picasso yarn so much. It is absolutely dreamy. So we can pull up that loop and take out our stitch marker and just swap it to the color changing. Now we're going to be working on our white yarn. And we're going to be doing this the, the entire time, working around with one color, switching and working around with the other. So wrap your yarn and into every stitch, we're just going to keep going what we've always been doing here. Into the corner space, we're going to do a regular corner. So two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And we're going to be doing this for the entire round four. So chain two and two more double crochets into the same corner spot. One and two. Another thing you can do now is just pop a stitch marker. So we're marking where we have started our spiral, so that is why it's in this corner here, just to keep track of it. So into our very first stitch, make sure you get into that very first post, is one double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch, going all the way along this row. And our corners are two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So continue that way all the way around, and I will meet you when you get back over here. Now it looks like this, and you can see we're kind of sliding back along that row. We're not quite up at the corner, so every once in a while, I will switch early, because I want all of our, you know, I want to be stopping when I get close to this stitch marker, or where we stepped up and started our spiral. So I'm just going to switch hooks and get this Picasso or color changing yarn up to closer to that corner. So now we're caught up again closer to where our stitch marker is, our corner where we have done our stepping up and turning it into a spiral. We want to keep track of that corner. So pop your stitch marker back into your white yarn. We just finished going around and we'll be going and working with our Picasso now or our color changing yarn. Now this is going to be row five. How you're going to count your rows is this row after our stitch marker is our new row. So one, two, three, four. This five is going to be with this color changing yarn. And we're going to be doing our corners a little bit different now. We're going to be doing small corners. And this is going to help our blanket not um, wonk out at the corners, for lack of a better word, or like splat out like a starfish. We want it to be a perfect square or a slight rectangle, but we want it to be flat and we want our edges to be the same as our corners like nice and crisp and square. So this is how we're going to change it. So every third row, we're going to do corners of one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. So that is a small corner, and we're going to be doing small corners every third round. So that's why we're keeping track of our stitch marker and this corner where we have joined. So for this entire round, small corners. So same way ac across the row, one double crochet into each stitch, taking care to go into that very first stitch. Corners of one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. So that is a small corner. We're doing a small corner every third round for the entire blanket into the first stitch, double crochet, and now keep going all the way around, doing the same thing, one double crochet into each stitch, taking care to go into that very first stitch, and corners of one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. So keep going like that, and I will meet you back when you get to just a little bit before your stitch marker. So I've gotten caught up, now I'm going to switch my stitch marker around, and switch which yarn I'm working on. So for round six, we are doing two double crochets, chain two for our corners. And our rounds start where our stitch marker is, so we're starting this corner now. So two double crochets, chain two, 
and two double crochets into each corner and one double crochet into each stitch, making sure you go into that very first one. That's all you have to do for this round. So pause the video, keep going all the way around, one double crochet into each stitch, and corners of two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And I'll meet you when you get back to your stitch marker. So at the end of round six, my stitches are getting a little far back, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work that color changing Picasso up closer to that corner. So now I'll do round seven with our color yarn. And we're near our stitch marker, so we're gonna look at what we need to do for our corners. So you can look back to see where you did your small corners, which is the second round down. So right here, these hot pink into that corner, that's our small corner. So we need two rounds with big corners or two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So into, for this entire round, we're gonna be doing the same, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So normal corners two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. All the way along. Make sure you get into your very first stitch and corners, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. So this is almost the end of round seven and our little stitch mark is here. So I'm just gonna move it up a little bit so I can keep track of it easier as the blanket grows. So switch your stitch marker just to hold that stitch and pop the white yarn onto your hook and we will start round eight. So get up to that corner. When we get to the corner with our stitch marker, we are gonna look to see what we need to do. We want two rows with regular corners, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So that looks like there's two on each side. So four double crochets into the corner space. We want two of those rows and then a small corner. So here is our small corner, just one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet. So just two double crochets into that corner space. And then we have two rows with four double crochets into our corner space. So that means for round eight, we are going to be doing our small corners again. So one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet into each of our corners. And then we're just gonna be alternating that rotation of two rows with the four double crochets into each corner and one smaller one with just two double crochets, one on each side. So we're gonna alternate that as we work this pattern. So now this is a small corner round. So one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So that's just two, oop. So that's just two double crochets into the corner where normally we have been doing four. So two rows with the four double crochets and the third row is just gonna have the two. One double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. So every third round is going to have small corners and you're gonna keep going like that until you run out of yarn or your blanket is the size you want it to be. So I just wanna finish up. I'm gonna end on this last row here of white. I just have a small bit left, so it's not enough to go around again. So we're just gonna finish up with our Picasso. I'm gonna end with two double crochets into that space. If you're going by the pattern, this round would just have the one double crochet into the space, but just to finish it off and have it look nice and full on that one corner, I'm gonna put in an extra stitch. So you'll end your blanket with two double crochets into the last space. Just like that, cut your yarn and chain one. Pull your hook through and your yarn up. Yes, your tail should be longer and snug that down a bit. Now work on your white. We just wanna put one double crochet into each stitch all the way to that corner, one, two, and we have one more stitch we can put in there. There's our last stitch. So that just kind of leaves our blanket nice and cornerish on that side. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. So now just sew in your ends and your blanket is finished.